God works according to the mustard seed principle. We heard about it in today's gospel. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed that a person took and sowed in the field. It is the smallest of all the seeds, yet when full grown, it is the largest of plants. The building up of the kingdom of God typically starts from the ridiculously small. Its growth is usually slow and gradual. God typically works on the edge of things, under the radar, slowly and clandestinely. Look how God unfolds his kingdom. St. Paul quietly crossed over from Asia Minor into Greece. And when he spoke at the Areopagus, many people sneered at him. In fact, many people walked away. From this small, insignificant event, Europe was Christianized, and the rest of the world was Christianized with it. The Franciscan movement was started by this odd, mystical young man. This young man, St. Francis, heard a voice, build, rebuild my church. Look at the Franciscan movement now. The missionaries of charity was started by this little lady in Calcutta. She stepped out in one of the worst slums in the poorest of the poorest of the cities in the world. She had no money and no one to help her. The missionaries of charity are all over the world. The University of Notre Dame was started by a handful of intrepid French priests who cut their way through a dense forest in the 19th century. It was a small college. Look at it now. It's a prestigious university. Charles Mwanga in Uganda, what he did was submit to being tortured. Rather than renouncing his faith, he planted a seed. Well, guess what, everyone? Christianity is the fastest growing religion on the continent of Africa. That's the mustard seed principle. From quiet beginnings, great things emerge. Don't hesitate to do small things. Yes, people are going to laugh at you. They're going to say you are insignificant. Plant a seed, everyone, and then let God do the rest.